Good morning, or afternoon, or evening. Um, my name is Mitchell. You guys already know me. I am, I am here again to share with you another devotional. So we'll be in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 20, uh, talking about the armor of God. And the, I've titled the, the devotional for today, The Lord's Soldier. We're going to look at what it means to be the Lord's soldier and how we can apply it to our lives. And I'm going to go through it very quickly. Um, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be with, able to withstand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, Again, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be with able, able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth and speak bold and make boldly make known the mystery of the gospel. For I'm an ambassador in chains, that I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. I'm going to go through uh, each point in this passage starting with our strength the strength in the lord we are to be it said paul encourages us to be strong in the lord but we find our strength in him and he is our strength and, and so how does that how does that work we'll see in, in, ver, in psalms 28 verse 7 through 8 the lord is my strength and my shield in him my heart trusts and i am helped my heart exults and with my song i give thanks to him the Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. So the Lord is our strength. And we are to be strong in him. But how? why is he encourages us to be strong in him if the Lord is our strength? Well, it's because we have to draw, want to be strengthened in him. We have to draw towards that strength. And then in turn, he is our strength when we are, when we desire that strength. He, he is, he becomes that strength. And we put on the armor of God that we may be able to stand the wiles of the devil. So in verse 14 through 20, it's, it's talking about the the belt of truth. Um, in in relation to the illustration that this is the um, soldier of the Lord or the Lord, Lord soldier, you wear the belt of truth that your pants may not fall down and you become a fool. <laughs> so, But a, a foolish soldier is not a soldier at all. So we are to wear that that belt to keep us from becoming a fool. When we put on the breastplate of righteousness, um, it's interesting to note here, it's not talking about our self-righteousness. We don't go about our day and we think, oh, so since I'm so right, now I'm wearing the, the breastplate of righteousness. No, it's it's the Lord's righteousness. It says in 1 Corinthians verse 30, but of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. So he is our righteousness. We put on this breastplate of righteousness because it is his righteousness. And ultimately, his righteousness is impenetrable because he is the most righteous of all and there's no flaw in him. So when the enemy attacks us in that in the chest, in that area, we, it just bounces right off. And then we uh, put on the boots of peace or the preservation of the gospel of peace and this is to press onwards to, towards the goal I, I would say in Philippians verse uh, Chapter 3 verse 13 it says brethren. I do not count myself to have apprehended but one thing I do for getting close close to oh, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead I press towards the goal the, for the prize of the upward call of God in, Jesus, in Christ Jesus. Sharing the gospel of peace. Uh, I, I didn't add that. I just sang back here. Um, having put on 
um, the preparation of the gospel of peace. We share that gospel of peace, pressing onwards to that goal. Um, and we put on these boots so that we cannot, like, when we step on those sharp objects, those jagged rocks, we ultimately are not harmed by it and we keep on going forward. That, in, um, in relation to our lives today, it would mean when we hit those rough patches in our life, we realize what our true purpose here on the earth is, is to keep pressing onwards to the goal and, and having um, the ultimate motivation of the gospel. We can hit those rough patches when a family member dies and oh, yes, we grieve, yes, we, we may not get over it, we get through it, but, but ultimately we realize what it means to be on this earth and we keep pressing onwards towards that goal. And then we take up the shield of faith to block those weak parts in our armor. The uh, in, It would be like right here and on our knees and stuff. But the enemy would aim for those weak points with their, their arrows or in this case fiery darts. Uh, so we take up that shield of faith to block those weak points. Then we take up, put on the helmet of salvation to guard our minds from the, the evil thoughts that can come towards us. And, and we... Um, ponder on salvation as that helmet so and then we take up this the one of the most important things the sword of the spirit which is able to uh, cut down the wickedness and go from the instead on the defensive defensive side we go on the offensive side cutting down the wickedness of the of uh, this world and not wrestling but cutting and then and then instead uh, shedding light onto the darkness so and then we pray we in prayer, all prayer and supplication for the Spirit, we pray to be bold. We pray to be to stand even when we've done all to stand. We we continue to pray to make known this gospel. So the encouragement I have for you guys today is to having done all to stand, keep standing. Um, pray for boldness to declare the gospel and and put on the armor of God that you may be the Lord's soldier. Speak boldly and wherever you go. But that's what, that's all I have for you today, and I uh, hope you take this to heart. Um, let's pray. Jesus, thank you for all that you've done for us. I thank you. Would, I pray that you would just continue to give us boldness to speak, to declare your word and your gospel, and give us the strength and uh, motivation to having do, done all to stand, to keep standing and to keep standing in your word. And I pray that you would let us ponder on on um, your word and continue to find the encouragement in it and that you would continue to guide us in our everyday lives. In Jesus' name, amen.